Axis 11. The circus has hired two riders, a bike rider and a cycle rider. Both of them ride vehicles, but bike rider rides the bike in a dome, whereas the cycle rider rides the cycle blindfolded. The circus manager has also ensured that both of them are trained and have enough experience of performing these stunts in circus. Apart from this, bike rider also has a race license. Create a class diagram for representing the above scenario by choosing the class names, attributes, methods and relationships from the list given. Assume that none of the instance variables can be accessed outside the class whereas methods can be accessed. So the message is very clear. Um, so they talk about two riders, one is bike rider and cycle rider. So there is something like, look at this. So we have a bike rider, rider and cycle rider. So rider should be the best class, both bike rider and cycle rider should be a inverted class. And they say that both of them ride vehicles. So ride vehicle, if you look at this, you'll understand ride vehicle is a method which is available in the list. Look at this, ride, ride, uh, um, Vehicle is right, vehicle is a method which is available there. Then, um, right, uh, it has some attributes like if you look at the constructor, you will understand it has uh, init method. We have a trained status and experience and all that it has. Apart from this, bike rider also has a race license. So, there are common attributes which will be inherited by both the classes bike rider and cycle rider. But bike rider will also have additional attribute named as race license. And they say, Assume that none of the instance variables can be accessed outside the class, whereas methods can be accessed, which means instance variables attributes should be private, method should be public. So it's very simple. So rider has attribute like trained status and experience. Cycle rider has only these two attributes, common attributes, but bike rider has a race license. So that is an additional attribute. And rider method has an init constructor. It has a trained status and experience, which is similar to this. So we are not using any constructor here. Then apart from this, only one method we have, it is rides blindfolded, he, since he rides a cycle. And he bike rider has additional attribute race license. Then he has um, three attributes using three which we construct, uh, call the constructor. From this constructor, we may call parent constructor. So we need to call parent constructor using super of method. If you write it as a code, then we have something called rides in tone. So if you do this and submit it, you will get answers like this. The bike class is correct, cycle rider, riders class, everything is correct. The relationship is also correct. We have an easy relationship. Cycle rider inherits bike rider. So we say cycle rider is a rider. Bike rider inherits rider. So we say bike rider is a rider. Exercise 12. Write a Python program to implement the created class diagram. Represent bike rider and cycle rider. Make them ride the respective vehicles. Note. Ride vehicle, rides in dome, rides uh, blindfolded methods should display appropriate messages. Assume that train status and race license are boolean variables and experience is integer. So from this, we'll have to take exactly the same way, rider class, then bike rider class, class rider class. So we'll have to write code for that. So let's, let's look at the code one by one. Let's take a class um, uh, rider first. So rider has attribute like trained status and experience. Yes, it has trained status and experience. It has a constructor which takes two parameter trained status experience and it has a method rides vehicle. So currently I've written any code. We may write a code if necessary. So rides vehicle is a method and within which we have a trained status like this. So you may have a print message saying it's simply rides vehicle. Then look at a code cycle rider and cycle rider as no attribute, it, it, it takes all the attributes, same at it uh, inherits all the attributes of rider, but it has a method named as rights blindfolded. So we have a method rights blindfolded. That's a message we have got it within this method. It is a public method. Fine. So it is a uh, cycle rider is a rider. So this within this bracket, parenthesis, we have mentioned rider, cycle rider of rider. And it's a bike rider and we have an additional attribute named as a race license and we have a constructor. So then from this constructor, we'll have to call the parent constructor. In addition to that, we have a method named as rides in, in dome. So a bike rider has is inherits rider and takes three parameters and we are passing two parameters to the parent class using super method. So we don't have to pass self here. So only two parameters we need to pass. It automatically takes super means 
parent class uh, constructor it will point to denote a source parent class uh, method or constructor so then we have a race license being initialized so we have a method rides and dome that's additional method we have then i simply create an object for bike alone you can create any number of object and see how it works so if you verify this it should pass all the test cases i hope you are able to understand this